Is we do. Right on the dangerous side. Oh, where's the back? Right there. Hello, everyone watching on YouTube. We just got blasted with another snowstorm, and I'm out here up to my knees. And it goes without saying how brutal it is to try to hike in conditions like this. What I would like to do is find somewhere to get out of this weather for a little while. Maybe a large rock overhang or natural cave if I'm lucky enough. So I could maybe get something to eat, dry off, take a rest. So we'll see what we got here. That might have to do. Okay, this looks great and all, but I think I've spotted something else further up that might be a cave. But for now, let's just have a look at this beautiful little formation. It is slightly warmer here. Some heat coming off the rocks. You can see that from the steam. This would be just enough. But I thought I spotted something else, so I'm going to check that out first. If not, I'll come back to this. I am absolutely spent right now, so I really hope I can find somewhere good to rest. You spend a lot of energy with every step you take in these kind of conditions. So this is what I spotted from a distance. Let's see if it's just an overhang, or if it's a cave. It's something, it's big enough to take some shelter in. Oh, actually, I think that goes down. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. Okay, I'm in, and it looks to be a pretty big cave here. I'm trying to make sure there's no hibernating animals down there. Well, it looks like I found the perfect place to get out of the snow for a little bit. What more can you ask for? Look at the size of this. Oh, I'm feeling air from below down here. Look at this, a whole other section. Well, you know I'm climbing down there. Let me just see how far back it goes first. So much for just taking a rest. I'm in, I'm in exploring mode now. There is definitely a bottom section to this down here, which I am definitely going to go have a look. This is perfect. A lot of cold air coming from down there.
Now this lower section is bigger than up there. Not a bad find. I mean, it's a mess in here. Very sketchy. But it seems like I always come across something. This place is definitely falling apart. So what are the chances that this might go a little bit further back there? This is going to be get on the dangerous side. Oh, there's a bat right there. Just chilling. Okay, what's up, bat? So we have a sleeping bat. They almost look like they're dead when they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Only I could sleep that peacefully, you know? Anyway, I'm going to leave the little fella alone and get back to that potentially dangerous situation I was talking about. Climbing into something stupid right here. Hopefully this is the end so I don't go climbing any further into something ridiculous. Fortunately, thankfully, that's the end. So I could go back. Look at this peak of light coming through. I thought I felt air coming through something. I'm going to try to carefully navigate back out of this. Okay, this is no joke. Don't fool around with this. Like this. So I think I've seen enough of this cave. Maybe I'll take that quick break that I was originally intending on coming in here for. But when you find a place like this, how could you not explore it? So I'm gonna make my way back to at least near the entrance and rest up and then battle the uh, wintry conditions out there to get back. We 
careful and I wouldn't recommend coming to places like this. Stay safe. So I'm ready to start hiking back, I guess. I mean, look at it out here. It sucks, but what are you gonna do? This is somewhere on the Makanakwa Loop Trail. If you come out, you're probably gonna find some caves too, but just be careful. I'll see you later. <laughs>